Hello, we're going to take a look at Flipgrid, which is a great ed tech tool for K-12 classrooms as well as university instruction. Many applications include active participation, discussion boards, project learning, brainstorming, and can be used for uh, universal design and differentiation for uh, special education as well as English language learners. So it's very easy to sign up. All you need to do is go up to the very top and click educator sign up. You'll sign up with your Google Gmail. Once you've signed up, you will log in. And once you're logged in, you will get an opportunity to see the dashboard, which shows your grids, which is basically like uh, classrooms that um, you utilize for your students to um, answer these um, questions using a visual slash audio video. So what I'm going to show you real quickly is to create a new grid and question. So you'll go right here where it says add new grid. And it provides you with these options. So I will name it uh, tutorial because this is what we're doing right now. And you have an option to choose school email, student ID, public, and P, uh, PLC. So what that means is basically how um, people will join your Flipgrid so they can answer your question. So it's pretty straightforward. I generally recommend using a school email for students that are in a K-12 environment because each student is assigned um, an email. And for this tutorial, I'll just click this for now. There are options for student ID and just public that anyone can join just using the URL below here. So there are options, but generally um, I always go with school email, click next, and then um, you'll add your uh, school email. So at um, sdsu.edu generally. Um, that's probably what you would use for your university, but it'd be at um, whatever school district the students have for their school ID in, G in uh, email. So you'll click next, and then your grid's ready. So it can be posted via um, just embedding a link, Google Classroom, or on Remind. Then um, this will just get you uh, into where the grid is located, where your questions are located. So remember, a grid is basically your classroom, and then your questions are embedded within your grid. So let's say all set. So <clears throat> once you're here, you have a classroom. There's a variety of different options. And I'm just going to go with um, today with just showing you how to add a new topic. And these are basically questions uh, that students can respond to. So you need to write a title, which really pertains to what is the question about. Then how long do your students get to record? I mean, you can do up to 15 seconds all the way up to five minutes. Really, depending on your question, is going to be the time scale. But generally, I like to do about a minute and a half to two minutes. So um, you'll put your recording time there. Then for the question, uh, the prompt. You can type in whatever you'd like here. What is your favorite place in San Diego? Please explain why. Because that could be my first question. And then you can say, then take a look at your classmates' responses. Listen to them and respond to one of your classmates and describe whether you have been there in town or not. So I generally like doing it in two parts because first the students res uh, respond to your question and then they actively participate by um, responding to their classmates. So let's see the question uh, part one and part two have been done. And if you look below here where it says focus optional, there are so many things you can do. You can record your own video that your students get to respond to. You can upload a video. You can find a YouTube video 
that the students can watch and then respond to um, when you place a prompt. Um, you can upload an image, you can add, app, uh, add a Giphy, which is basically like a motion, uh, short motion picture, which is about five to 10 seconds, add an emoji, um, add a Kahoot. There's a variety of different things that you can do, but um, just for today's tutorial, I'm just showing you how to do a question. So once that's done, you create a topic, and then you get a link that you can share on a presentation or on a Google Classroom. Um, so there's a variety of different options. And there's an option to share a QR code. So students that have possibly an app like Snapchat or a QR code reader on their phone, they can just um, take a picture of it on their screen to access it on their phone or uh, computer. So all set. Um, the question has been done, and now we're waiting for responses. So below, we I can record a response, but my students will see a really um, big red uh, button right here on their end, and they'll record an image. So before I uh, move on, I want to show you guys real quickly. When I'm um, posting a topic at the very bottom here, there's a feedback option. So you can create your own rubric um, regarding your students' responses. So um, they already have a basic feedback that provides um, basically performance and ideas is their rubric, but we can create a custom new rubric and can add the title of the rubric. You can add uh, what the description is on that rubric that you're looking for in the response, their minimum score, maximum score. It's up to you can be based on the university rubric or school rubric or um, whatever standard you're trying to measure. And on your end, once you receive student responses, you can go in and assess their learning. So this is Flipgrid and you will uh, have an opportunity uh, to take a look at it and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, bye.